Hare Krishna. When the mind insinuates, it is often more insidious than when it incites. Suppose somebody is trying to incite a mob. There is a big political or religious gathering and somebody is trying to incite. Now, when somebody is inciting, it is relatively easy to detect it. They speak inflammatory speech, they, they speak hateful words against whoever it is that they, they are targeting. And in that way, if the law enforcement authorities want to curb, they can identify insight, insightful speech relatively easily. But if somebody insinuates, somebody starts uh, planting doubts and suspicions and uh, rumor mongering, then uh, there is no explicit proclamation of that and it's much more difficult to detect or correct. Sometimes those uh, what is insinuated may spread far and wide even before it is detected. And that's why it's important, very important, that uh, even those who are insinuating, we stop in time. And so now both these can happen inside our inner world also. Our emotions, our desires, our passions can get in, inflamed. And the mind inside can incite us. It can incite our imagination with lust, with greed, with anger. And if we have studied scripture reasonably well, and if we are regularly staying connected with spiritual wisdom, then we can make out, oh, this is actually the mind inciting me. And I need to guard myself against it. The mind is our enemy and this is one of the most consistent teaching of scripture. For example, the Bhagavad Gita says that Pandhur Atma Atmanastasya Yenatmai Vatmanajitaha Anatmanastu Shatrutve Varte Tatmai Vashatruvat That we need to, uh, the mind when it is controlled is our, is our friend, otherwise it is our enemy. So the, if we are studying the Gita regularly, we do know the mind is an enemy and incites us with toward lust and things like that. So we can identify it. But sometimes the mind insinuates. That means it's, it doesn't scream, it whispers. Just see uh, how judgmental that person is. Just see how foolish that person's argument is. And when it insinuates, filling us with doubts or suspicions about about Krishna, about Krishna, about this path of spirituality, about the supreme spiritual reality Krishna, about those devotees who are pursuing a spiritual path. And through all these, we end up getting entrapped. We end up getting enslaved. Because what happens is we believe those insinuations and and start acting accordingly and we don't even realize that the mind is insinuating because the mind is inside us and it is whispering so we need to be extremely introspectively alert to catch the mind insinuations just as the external the, the law enforcement has to be extremely alert to stop rumor mongering but knowing this danger and cultivating introspective awareness uh, through equipping our intelligence with scriptural knowledge, we can catch the mind before it can trouble us either way, either through inciting or by insinuating. Thank you. Hare Krishna.